Stephanie. Actually, Stephanie, we we were we were actually liking the skinny view. <laughs> Oh, hello. Welcome back, you guys. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking at you. Stop looking at so, me. So, let's talk about our chair. Hello and welcome to uh, the basement. We are here at l &J Goods in Medina and hoping everybody can hear me just fine. And uh, we are going to try to get the one person watching. Get Thank you. Oh, Patrice is here. Hi, Patrice. Anyway, we are here in the basement and we are going to be finishing up this project. This has been a three week project where we have done this chair. So if you haven't seen the first two, we have an edited video from last, from two weeks ago, where we actually decoupage the seat and then we did our live like the week before that. So go back and check those out and I'll, uh, I'll link those in the description box down below. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, welcome and um, thank you for joining us today. We are on a mission to do furniture projects this year and get them cleaned out so we can reduce the size of our storage. How hmm. about that? Yeah. Yeah. How's Megan today? I'm fabulous. The sun is shining here. We and woke I'm up so to the sun happy. shining. Yes. It was so nice. I'll take it. Hello, Beverly. Welcome. Hi. So, um, if you're joining us for the first time, let us know because we are going to talk a little bit about what we've done to this chair so far and how I got it prepped for today. But we love new friends here and um, we would just love to meet you. So, come say hello. If you have not subscribed already, do us a huge favor and hit the subscribe button. I know a lot of people are watching that are not subscribed and we would love it if you did that. <laughs> Lourdes said I made her laugh so hard on Monday's live. I don't even remember what, the, what I was <laughs> What did saying. they do on Monday? Know. Curious how the decoupage seat is holding up, Lois said. Check it out, Lois. Do you Lourdes see what I'm doing? I am sitting on this That's the and truth. it is holding up beautifully. Beautifully. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on with this chair. Irma, what's that? Oh, I was speaking to Irma, not you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please, if you wouldn't mind. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I did um, since last week to prep this chair. We have gotten um, an additional coat of paint on the fabric. And then what I did is I just took a soft, worn sanding block and I sanded the surface of this lightly because the, the, the wet paint is gonna lift, it's gonna lift that, um, I wanna say grain, but like, lift it's the textile. same idea, yeah. Yes, and so especially on these curved edges. It looks like from back here, it looks like fabric to me. Yeah. It's so crazy. Absolutely. Karen just said, I simply do not believe you can upholster with decoupage paper. Well, I'm upholstering a soft cushioned seat with a rice paper. So this is not like a recycled tissue paper. It's not a mint by Michelle yeah. tissue. Um, it is, this is a rice paper. And I talked about that at length in our previous two videos. Um, the rice paper is fibrous, right? Y if you've used it before, you know that it's it's almost like a textile, and it and it and it tears apart easily, but it has some flexibility in it, and that's why I chose that to use on the seat of this chair. If this was a hard surface, like kind of a hard surface seat, like a dining room chair, certainly you could probably use the other type of paper as long as you have it adhered well and sealed well. So last week we decoupaged this onto the painted seat of the chair and then I have applied a couple coats of our um, our rock hard top coat on this and, and it is literally, it is not cracking. It's very flexible. What is happening is, is that polycrylic, that rock hard top coat is, is kind of absorbed into the fibers of the rice paper. So it all becomes one. It fuses it. I it say. fuses it. Absolutely. That's exactly what it does. 
can I chime in with a couple comments and questions before we get too far ahead? Absolutely. Okay. Um, hi, Corinne. Stephanie says the nap. It's raising the nap. Thank you, That's Stephanie. And I thought you Thank would want to you, know Stephanie. that. Vintage Magnolia says you have a very charming backdrop. Oh, thanks. I changed it up it for you guys cute for spring. And spring. Yes. Yeah. Um, Mary Casey wants to know, can you paint a velvet fabric? And would D or Y or Fusion be best? Uh, if it's, okay, it depends on what kind of uh, velvet it is. I, my rule of thumb is, if it is a natural fiber, like cotton, like a cotton velvet, use DIY. Yeah. It will, DIY is very much water soluble, and so you're almost like dyeing the fabric. Yeah. And you would apply several watered down coats to kind of dye the fabric. Think of like RIT dye, all right? And and you're you're just painting and dunking that or you're dunking that fabric a few different times to increase the depth of color. So we do the same thing with DIY paint. However, it does not work well on a synthetic upholstery fabric. So on a synthetic velvet, you have to be mindful. If it has a, a quite a nap to it, right? Our new word then, of the day. Then you, um, I don't know that that's the best choice to paint with fusion because yeah. fusion has a built-in top coat and it and it will kind of stiffen that up and I, and I don't know that it would give you a really nice finish. This is a textured um, upholstery fabric from the '60s, and and there's no uh, loose fibers. It's a very yeah. flat finish, even though it has. Um, a weave in the in but the pattern, the most part, a pattern in the weave. You're getting like a leathery texture. That's exactly what you're getting. Where with velvet, you don't. You, you don't. That's first want of all, that, that that would be weird. It would be like a. a I'm just thinking like a. It just it would be like would crunchy be and it wouldn't be good on velvet. Yeah. Mary. So, so <laughs> and DIY paint is so pigmented. You really can like water it down and add like coat after coat after coat and let it yes. soak in. Yeah, so Mary, um, in our playlist under DIY paint, there is a video that I did where I did paint a leather chair. So you might want to go back and watch that, and you'll get to meet my upholstery friend, Gary. But mm -hmm. um, also, you can, uh, Debbie, Debbie has some great videos also on, on painting velvet upholstery. Oh, yeah, her videos are really good. Yeah, so either, I mean, you can either watch mine or pop over and watch hers, and, and that should give you enough um, of, a, of a background to understand why we use DIY on cotton upholstery instead of fusion. Now, Laura Hall is late. Um, oh, Laura, please. And this is something I'm really going to hate traveling. Have. Well, she, yeah, she's in New York, um, North Carolina. I, I don't, I'm not understanding why that's an excuse. I don't think I can use the excuse of mom and I being in Vegas to not fill your order, can I, Laura? And I would well, hate Well, I think to... you did. No, <laughs> I'm still within my seven business days. We're trying I to minimize just... that gap. But... What I would really hate to do is to have to start pe putting people's orders to the bottom of the pile when you're late so often. <laughs> late. So I would hate to have to do that. Laura. But Laura, I think that might be your first time, so we'll go ahead and excuse it. And besides that, I already shipped your order. <laughs> All right. I like this whole sentence from Stephanie. Yes. And I would like to, you to say it three times. Okay. Seems like a high nap velvet would be prickly if painted. <laughs> Seems like a high nap velvet would be prickly if painted. Seems, seems like, like a high, high nap, nap velvet would be prickly if painted. It seems like a high nap velvet would be prickly if painted. You are correct, Stephanie. You know your fabrics, don't you? Indeed. And Laura, I'm just teasing you. Yeah. Your your order shipped. Yes. And I was gonna say, and Laura, if she gives I you would any more that. grief, if she gives you grief again, you just come to me. Yeah. Like I'm I'm the boss of all of this. Although right? you can't get to mom without going through me. So. <laughs> okay. So I sanded lightly over the entire surface and it really did eliminate that that kind of crunchy raised nap. That is how many times am I gonna say that today? 
<laughs> it seems like a high nap velvet would be prickly if painted. It would be. So <laughs> today what we're going to do is we are going to add uh, some gimp, some trim around this to finish it off. And we're going to put a little bit of wax on our, um, on our chair. How about and that? Vintage Magnolia is Michelle C. And I know that. And I don't know why every single time I say Vintage Magnolia is if that's your name. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Michelle, Megan, can we see this okay? Um, it just see. takes me a beat. To, okay. A beat? Yeah, it's okay. I'm just going to start gluing. I got my hot glue gun no, out. I said it would be like sitting on a porcupine. Yeah. Brent said even Beyonce didn't use traffic traffic as an excuse for the Grammys. Well, you know Beyonce what, Megan? Then you have you have a few things to learn. Okay, that's from a Beyonce. good question from Deidre. Yeah, I'm not late. Okay. Okay, I am a time woman. All right. I'm a woman of a timely timeliness stature. Oh, I should tell them about Henry here in a minute. Oh, yes. As long as Henry can't, does he watch my Henry YouTube ever videos? Ordered, and not one of you is allowed to tell Henry about this. But Deidre has a really good question Yeah. before I say anything about that. She said, will the wax ruin clothing? And I think that's a great question. That is a really great question. No, of course you want to allow the wax some cure time. But think about this. If you were to paint a bench, for example, and you were to paint it with chalk paint or with fusion, for example, right. and you wanted to choose as your finishing coat uh, a nice dark wax or clear wax, whatever, um, you would be able to sit on that bench after some time, right? We don't use a lot of wax on it. The wax right. is just here to give it a little bit of a buttery soft finish. Buttery soft. I love saying that. So. There may be some new, I know for sure there are some new people here. Oh, good. But for those of you who are new, I'm Megan, I'm mom's daughter, and I have four sons, um, ranging in age from 22 to 11. Henry is my youngest, and he's newly 11, and he has a very, dis would you say a distinct personality? I would say he has a dignified personality. All right, <laughs> you're jumping <laughs> to the punchline. It's okay. And he has bird called Nelly, and we talk about him. Sometimes, and he would absolutely be very mad at me if he knew that. I'm just afraid. What if he watch actually watches? My Someday YouTube he may, but and hopefully by then he'll have a better sense of humor about himself. But right now he does not. Okay, he <laughs> takes himself quite seriously. So I was cleaning out his take home folder from school, and I found, you know, going through his tests and stuff, I found a paper that it must be the teacher had them writing down like goals for the new year. And I'm gonna read to you what Henry <laughs> said. And I'm so glad that this did not just get thrown away. With the oh my gosh. He said, and I just wanna remind you, he's the youngest of four brothers. His oldest brother is 22 years old and is doing just quite well. They're all doing fine. <laughs> They are. Because he said, they have been incredible role models for Henry and They Bifon. have. So he says, keeping myself well educated so I can be a role model for my brothers, even though I am the youngest. That was one goal. The next one is very simple. Chasing goals. <laughs> then we have simply schoolwork. And the last thing on his list is Keeping a dignified persona. <laughs> he is 11 years old. I can't even. Keeping. I can't. Oh, yeah. Now, of course, Not I secretly, secretly shared this with his big brothers and August, who is 19. Well, no, he just turned 20. Oh, my gosh. He said baby. he needs to keep a dignified persona when you ask him to try a new food instead of absolutely <laughs> losing his mind every time. <laughs> Hi, Margaret. There's... Oh, precious Henry, indeed, Michelle. He is so funny. He really... Someday we're going to get, yeah, he's 11 going on 51. I think he was born basically. He's a like little that. old man. Oh my, he is a little And old as man. JR loves to remind us how many times from the time that Henry was a babe, Henry's very cerebral. He is. Yes, and he JR is has known that about him since 
his birth. Yes, and he'll t the kids in class will say, Henry, you know you don't have to talk like that or try to act like you're so smart. And he says, I can't help if I have a great vocabulary because I love to read. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, I'm sure he you're does. making tons of friends like that. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Did you use a specific glue for gluing the trim? Oh, just regular old hot glue. Oh, Henry's teachers always love him, Mary, of course. At his teacher's parent te and the parent teacher conferences and anytime we talk to them, they say they'd like a hundred Henry's in their class because he does help the other kids with their work and they she they say he adds very um interesting contributions to their their class discussions I'm which sure i'm sure does. i would love to be a fly on the wall for someday i would just love to get him on here even for five minutes so they could just picture him oh gosh <laughs> well he is well he's cute as a button sure he is <laughs> he wore his sweater today mom some of you might remember that mom took him clothes he wanted to have some more what did he say dapper clothing so mom and JR, he for said he would like day. to dress a bit more dapper at times. And sadly, we didn't even get to get together for the holidays where he could wear those outfits I because know. of our snowstorm. Stephanie got teased for her vocabulary, too. You did. Well, I adore it. I love a good vocabulary. He called me melodramatic the other day. <gasps> <laughs> so sometimes it's not as cute as it seems. <laughs> and I said, what does it mean? And he told me, and then I s asked Alexa what it meant, and it was word for word what Henry just told me. Oh, is, that, is he, yeah. list, is he, where is he finding, oh, because he reads a lot. He reads a lot, yes. yes. And what, like, he watches, you know, he, he watches YouTube, we have it, like, very heavily filtered on his tablet, but he is watching, like, the most boring educational stuff <laughs> you could imagine. He was talking about fossil fuels the other day. <laughs> no, he does not suffer fools easily. That is exactly the perfect way to say it, Michelle. He is not. I don't know what that means. Like, I've heard that, and I think it's the coolest phrase ever, but I I, I can't quite, like, Let me I, see if I, I can look it up and explain it to you. Oh, Henry... Mary, the craziest thing is, Nellie, I'm trying to record it. She's not supposed to talk. Very rarely can a Conyer say one or two words. She is saying the word kiss, I'm telling you right now. And she'll hear, because Henry sounds like a baby rhino coming down the stairs. She'll hear his footsteps, and she'll start saying kiss, kiss, and make a kiss sound. So I'm trying to record it, because she won't do it when you tell her. At two and a half years old, um, <laughs> Stephanie's daughter said, Mommy, the kitty won't cooperate. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get scared. Okay. Sandy said, I would never have thought to glue the trim on the chair. Great idea. Hi, Shannon. Well, what would you have done differently, Sandy? Tell me. Because when I learned under my friend Gary the upholsterer, I learned that hot glue is your friend in upholstery. And it sure is a lot better than, think of back when, like when my dad upholstered, he'd use tiny little upholstery tacks to tack all of this into place. That's cool. So we use glue. Yeah. And boy, that really does just set it off, doesn't it? come down this side for you and then I'll go ahead and add a little bit of wax which I'll come up this side this, a person who doesn't suffer does not suffer fools is one who does not tolerate stupidity in others oh okay. that is the truth and say the phrase again um it's can be said Suffer, does not suffer fools gladly, does not suffer fools easily. There's okay. a couple different ways okay. to say it, yeah. Katie says the phrase means that one has little patience with foolish or stupid people, yes. That's okay, Henry. thank you. Um, what kind of hot glue is it? Gorilla glue. It's just 
It is not Gorilla Glue. I'll tell you, it is just a standard uh, glue that I get in bulk from my upholstery supplier. But So is it a fabric-specific glue? No, it's not. Because actually I'm gluing on... It smells no. like hot glue to me. Yeah, it's just your standard... I know there's tons of different hot glues out there, Yeah. but this is just your basic, yep. like, not a low temp, but a high temp melt. Um, just a standard right i didn't even know there was oh, a high so temp many. and a low temp i did not know yeah. that there was like different glue sticks i've only ever used one type of hot glue to be perfectly honest with you and that's probably why i didn't know this is an all purpose glue it is not specifically made for upholstery um it's just all purpose Jeannie says, my granddaughter told her chemistry teacher, we're here to learn, not goof off. <laughs> when he wanted to give a free day, she's 15 and worried about college. That is so Henry. He tells the kids in his class, like, what do you think we're doing here? We're here to learn. <laughs> like, again, way to make friends. Luckily, he has a couple, I hate to say, but nerd friends. It's okay. That feel the same way, and they... Laugh at their nerdy. I, all of my sons are nerds, and I'm fine with that. They really are. Yes, they in are. In the coolest way. And my, I feel like they are, of course. Maybe everybody would not feel that way, but I I quite like it, and they're very delightful to talk to. Well, they're intelligent. Um, they are educated. Not that we're biased. And no. they have a dignified persona. And they do <laughs> have a said. Actually, they do, and they're very polite. And they do, Mom. They, um, they're, they're wonderful young men. They really are. And but they can be quite fresh. Uh, oh, of some little smarty pants like that can be quite fresh. Sometimes. Like my 11 year old telling me I'm being melodramatic. Yeah, that is absolutely rude. But you know something, <laughs> and here's the thing. They're also, they're boys. They're typical boys. No, they're not. JR, you know, JR was just saying to me the other day, he's like, you know, do your boys ever just like physically fight and wrestle? Like. Because he said, like, he and his brother did. And, like, my dad's one of four boys, and they definitely did. But my boys don't really do that. I mean, I'm not saying they never I, have hit each other or anything, but, but they're I'm not, saying, like, rough and What tumble. I'm saying is they're energetic. They love sports. They're physically yes, active. They course, need yes. to be physically active. They're, yes. They can be jerks, like boys can be yes. sometimes. Or and just they can be fresh, that's for sure. Yeah. Seriously. Henry, especially. Well, I would just say that, uh, especially 50% of my kids, Henry being one of them and Jonathan being the other. Henry, Jonathan, who has been on Basement Chronicles, he actually. Is. Yes, he sure has. They know it all. And sometimes they, and they, uh, that can make you be quite fresh to your parents sometimes because you think you know better. Oops. They know. Yes, mind your manners. Indeed. So, we have lots of grandchildren that we oh, love yeah. and adore. And they're all super smart. No, they don't go to private school. They go to public school. Well, my two oldest boys are in college now. And Jonathan is at a private. Yes, he is at a private college, yes. Not far from Jane Brown. Is Jane Brown here today? Jane Brown, I believe, is here t today. <laughs> Patrice said, duh, where did they get that, Megan? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, Henry is an amazing little man indeed. I'm very, very lucky to have him, and he loves to chat. Sometimes I, I just record him chatting with me so Mom can hear it, what he's I, talking about. I'm telling you, you know, it's because I am still work full-time, and, you know, I, I don't get the chance. I don't I you don't, don't get grandma Colleen kind of time I really don't and and so and when you have like lots of grandchildren it's hard to keep track of their names their it, ages it is their it birthdays. truly is <laughs> who belongs to which one of my kids I don't know <laughs> I'm running a business here <laughs> Megan <laughs> you are rude <sighs> like Patrice just said I wonder where he gets it from <laughs> I know right Oh, fair enough. And, but they, I, I love, like, getting to spend, like, one-on-one -on -one time with them. And, and even just, like, you know, Henry's um, birthday this year, taking him 
to pick out clothing. Well, like, we just had like great talks, yeah. and he helped pick out Christmas presents, and yeah. it, and he was very thoughtful about the gifts that he was buying for his family, and he was oh so my proud. goodness, so proud. I still haven't received my gift. Where is it? I don't know. He says we have it. No. Oh, no, it was the little Kirby. Yes, yes I did. Yes, yes you yes, did. Because I, I, I had to actually, poor Oscar, I, I oh, Oscar opened his yes, gift. Yes, and he thought that was for him, but it was Yes, for him. and I was like, Oscar, I am so embarrassed to say this, but there's one of those is for Maggie. For Maggie in, <laughs> in your package. And I feel terrible. Henry picked it out for her in... He and, was fine with and it. And Oscar was so sweet. He's like, for Maggie? He of knows course. Maggie loves like, him. Yeah. He was great. It was it was okay. Lots of people here can relate to you just having the time with your grandkids. And some of it's just because they live far away. Mom's very lucky. I have yeah, and I have, we have three. Um, JR's daughter Amelia. Um, uh, it lives in Chicago, and she has three incredible boys. That's right. But lots of your grandkids live right in town with you. They do. Yep. Yeah, Which they do. Nice. But it is hard when they live far away. Sure. But luckily we have, like, FaceTime and all that good stuff. And yeah. when Amelia comes, it's always so nice to see it her really boys. It really is. So, yeah. Her kids are so cute. Yep. Okay. So, we just... And Stephanie doesn't have grandchildren, and she won't. Her daughter's 36 and doesn't want kids. She doesn't. Do you have, do you have a grand dog? I was just going to say, do you have a grand dog? A grand do bird, have... a grand yes. kitty. I've been watching these Boston Terrier reels on Instagram, and they're just so funny. And, and there are some of them that... I just get so excited when it's like, oh, who's that coming? Is that grandma? Is that grandma coming? <laughs> and those little Boston Terriers get so excited. Um, Stephanie has a grand kitty. Irmi, Irma says, I was never lucky enough to have kids. You know, I was um, at the post office yesterday, and I heard a little kid like in the background back there, and I said to the lady at the register, do I hear a child back there? And she's like, yes. I was like, oh, I'm just not used to hearing it. She goes, me neither. She oh. goes, to be honest with you. she's And I like her a lot, actually. Yes, yes. But she, I just never knew this. She goes, to be honest with you, I don't like kids. She goes, they're very rude. And I was like, you know, I can't argue with you. And I said, and honestly, messy. I said, I have a couple of my own, and really, they're quite messy and sticky. <laughs> So she was laughing so hard. So there's benefits to not having kids, too. <laughs> you keep a tidy home, probably. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. They don't, you're, you don't get your heart broken quite as often. Because kids will definitely they break do. your heart. They definitely do. But she, Irma has a husband named Henry. Oh my gosh, Irma and Henry. What a Isn't beautiful that, name for a couple. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, Judy says, I have... Twin two-year-old grandchildren, but sadly they live on the other side of the country. I only get to see them a couple times a year. That's so hard, That's Judy. So hard. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure all of my kids are going to stay right in the same town with me, just <laughs> like your kids did, Mom. Yeah. Oh, I can't even think about it. Have you ever heard that phrase, a daughter is a daughter for life, a son is a son till he takes a wife, that haunts me. Megan is so afraid. I am, but I'm telling you, I will be so nice to any daughter-in-laws I have. She is good, too. Jonathan and Augie are very, they're not, like, they didn't, they don't date around. They, no, they've they each have... had exactly one girlfriend, and they have the same girlfriend, and I like them both. <laughs> so very sweet. much so. And Megan loves both of them. I and do. they love her, too. Yes. But, I mean, I just want them to stay here. Yeah. <laughs> Their moms are here, so maybe they will not be far away. Or my other option is that I told my sons um, is that I can build a tiny house on each and every one of their properties. And it took some convincing. Yeah, what did you have to bribe, bribe them with? That I'll clean their houses while they're at work and babysit their kids. And I would just, all it would be is a quarter of the year at each house. They wouldn't have to deal with me all the year long. You want to start that thing, like, now at the lake? Yes. 
I would love to. <laughs> you gotta insulate that little cottage though. Okay. It would just be for a quarter of the year. Um, Karen says she does not suffer fools. Um, Michelle said, my lovely daughter said the nicest thing to me recently. She said, I love how the boys are around you, Mom. You make them feel listened to, and they are relaxed around you. Two boys aged five and four. That's beautiful. I what love a lovely that. thing for her to say. And you know something? And I feel like that with, with uh, my kids and their kids. Like, that, that you all do have a wonderful way of communicating no, with your No, her children. daughter said that about her oh, with her really? grandchildren. Oh, my gosh. I just think what a sweet thing to say. Oh, that is sweet. Stephanie says, my heart is broken from my daughter right now. I haven't heard from her since Mother's Day. Oh, we know that kind Stop. of pain, too, Stephanie. Believe it or not, there was times when Mom and I didn't speak to each other. Yeah. We've, we've Mom and I have been through really, really hard times, so... Yeah. There is hope for sure, but with both my parents, I had I've had periods of time where we didn't speak years ago. But yeah. um, I think that what it, I believe I think what it what um, um, first of all, you know that you you really cannot feel that you you can, you shouldn't feel that you can change a person. The only person you, you can change is yourself. But it's very hard to wrap your head around that It's sometimes. very hard. Especially so, with immaturity. There's immaturity. Well, and you have to, you, you truly um, have to, like, you have to address boundaries. You have to address loving unconditionally. Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness is huge. Um... Stephanie says, my daughter is an adrenaline junkie, skydives, climbs mountains, parasails, hard-headed. I can't, I, if you can believe it, Stephanie, I was quite hard-headed myself. And quite opinionated. You and think? quite fresh and sassy myself. And mom and I butt heads quite a bit when I was a teen. If you can even believe that at well, all. Now it's cute and funny. It wasn't as cute and funny then. <laughs> this is, um, I'm just using my Debbie's DIY clear wax. This is the best part, I think. Yeah. And I'm not using a lot. I just want a little bit on there to kind of give it a little bit of a silkier, uh, buttery finish on this. Margaret said, grandchildren are God's reward for enduring your children's teen years. I've heard that before. <laughs> I get it. Um... And Jeannie says, I had the mother-in-law from hell. We lived one house apart. Taught me what not to do. I'm a great mother-in-law. Oh. But I know all of that, Stephanie. It's good to know there's hope, but when you're in the middle of that, it's like... It's brutal. Ooh, it is brutal. I'm telling it you. It consumes you. There's that saying that I really believe that a mother can only be as happy as her least happy child. And that is... <sighs> Oh, why haven't I heard that before? I know. That is so it's true. It's so true, and it's it's like it's it, having a child is literally like just ripping your heart out, throwing it in the street, and just hoping for the best in a way because you you lose control of your own heart. You really <laughs> Anything do. can happen. Really it's just do. like the craziest thing. Okay, let's 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 talk about waxes. Yeah. Oh, uh, but let's leave it at this. What Patty just said, and not that anybody can't. Um, Keep talking for sure they can oh yeah that's what we're um, here for patty says i always say family is complicated it can be wonderful heartbreaking and comforting at different times 100 percent it'll make Hundo you feel eight. it'll make you feel all the feels yeah and those are important feels to feel when you need to heal and get through and grow as a family as well. You have to be able to feel all those feelings and express all of that with each other in, in a, a respectful, respectful way. way. I like to say closeness through conflict. I so strongly believe that we can be closer through conflict, and that's what this world needs more of. Absolutely. Families need it, and just the Dude, world in general. That is why we get married. To husbands. Well, I don't think I mean, we know that. On. I don't think we know that what when we're getting married. No, but that but is what think makes about it kind of relationship. Think about it. A yes. good marriage, a, an enduring marriage, is one that 
does not suffer fools wisely. <laughs> and <laughs> or any just any relationship. Yes. Like if you can get through conflict in a respectful and loving way, you will be closer because of it and you'll be a better, more that evolved person yep, because of it. That's true, Megan. True. And that just goes for everything. Religion, politics, just personal relationships, everything. If yeah. we can compromise, it's magical. Um, and you is, can do that while not compromising your own personal values. Hello, yes. But learning to compromise in a way that does not offend others. Uh, excuse me, before we go any farther, Jeannie said, did you just say Hundo P? Oh, Lynn, you are so hip. Uh, that's my thing, Jeannie, that I've been trying to I make totally happen. stole it from Megan. And I would like you to please take that back and say, Megan, you're so hip. <laughs> And everyone start using it. Please, I want it to take the world by storm. Um, okay, Stephanie, back to the waxes. Are yes. the waxes different for, like, wood and for, like, furniture? Like, that kind of furniture? Well, there's a lot of different kinds of waxes, Stephanie. So, um, I am using a, there's, okay, so there's like a solvent-based wax, which is very stinky wax, and, and you've probably used it if you have used a uh, chalk paint. Um, and this one is, I'm going to tell you what's in it. It is, where are your ingredients, Miss Deb? Uh, love, these <laughs> wax, Canuba wax, or Carnuba wax. Candelilla wax, kerosene wax, and, and then a binder. Um, so it doesn't have that real strong oil base or petroleum base that, a, that some waxes have. So it's not stinky. Um, I use this on, um, on painted surfaces, just like I said, to give it a little bit of a gloss. This is not preserving the finish of my Fusion Mineral Paint at all. This would preserve the finish, for example, on Debbie's DIY paint if you applied layers of, a couple of layers of finishing wax um, to a chalk paint. Um, I love it because it is so easy to use. If I get it on my hands, honest to goodness, I feel like it is like a spa treatment because wow. I will work it right into my cuticles. There is nothing in this that is going to hurt you or um, that, that you'll have any kind of a, an issue with as far as smell or, or anything like that. All it's going to do is really give you just that nice, smooth, softer hand and finish. You can also use this on on wood. Absolutely you can. On natural raw wood, for sure. What about can. the lavender scented wax? Did you, you know use what? that on paint? Yes, of course. So what I will say is this formula right here is pretty much the same as the Fusion Mineral Paint formula. I just happen, I kind of grab whatever is closest to me. So um, Debbie's comes in two sizes, the Fusion comes in two sizes, um, and it kind of depends on which size you're more comfortable with using. Um, Fusion has even a small, like the smallest pot, and then Debbie's is the next size up, then Fusion, and then Debbie's. So you have a lot of nice options for a, a really nice wax. Okay, Patty's a new mother of one. She hopes that she's a good one. And I think just the fact that you care. <laughs> that you want to be. Yes, that that's important good. to you. That's like, a good you're going to be a good one. Yes. Yeah. Sandy does the same with clear wax. It feels great on your hands and nails. It does. Not, not the, not, don't use like Johnson's paste wax on your nails and like the solvent, but don't do that. Please don't do that. It's just this, this beautiful like beeswax and caranuba oil and yeah. Okay, did you feel like that answered your question, Stephanie? Sandy said, kids and grandkids bring the most joy and the most heartbreak. Indeed. You sounded like my mama there. She always says that. Yeah, it's the truth, though. Yeah. It is the truth. Next up come our pets, because... Okay. 
especially yes. dogs, I think, because you get them knowing that it's going to break your heart someday, but life is just not the same without them. Yeah, isn't that true? It's For those so of us true. who are dog people, yes. not everybody is. Megan, can you come over here and just feel this? I want you to feel this. I just, you can come in from behind. I'm gonna, there's no way I'm not going to get on camera, though. Just reach your arm in. Just reach your arm in and feel. Isn't that nice? Yes. It really is nice. I just wanted somebody else to feel this. Um, so I am not going to go through and finish or wax the whole back on this. We don't want to waste your time with that. But um, So I have just a couple of things that I am going to address with this chair. Um, I need to put my dust filter or dust fabric on the bottom of it. Dust fabric. Yeah, it's like a, a sh kind of a sheer black uh, polyester fabric that goes underneath. It oh, staples underneath. Yes. Okay. It's, it's like this stuff right I here. I never knew that's what it was called. Yeah, this one is actual like fabric, but I'll be taking all that off. Now, now, um, basically, it, it's not a, it's not an actual like textile okay. that you put down there. It's more of a Think of like interfacing. That's that's kind of what it reminds me of. So I will be doing that. And another thing that I'll be doing is um, I'll be putting a coat of this wax even over the top of my chair. And this chair's already sold, right? This chair is sold, you guys. Someone contacted me, and they want it. They they're gonna buy it and. As soon as it's finished, it'll be out of here, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it is. It's somebody we love. Yes, it is. So I'm going to show you, if I put this wax on the wood, you see what happens? So I can use the wax on the wood, and it's just going to help to preserve it and moisturize it. Hydration is so important. Hydration is important. For wood, for skin, right now. for nails, all yeah. of it. Do you wax the decoupage seat? I'm going to do that. Yes, I am. But I just put a, a coat of my Funkature Rock Hard on this about 30 minutes before so you, we came on. But I'm uh, yeah, I'll just add a little wax right over it. Why is that? So just so the finish is cohesive? Yeah, kind of. It, it just, again, gives it, I don't think I need to, yeah. but what's it going to hurt, right? I don't know. I yeah, it's, it's don't not going to hurt it. Okay. Um, what I'd like to do is put one additional coat of my um, top coat on the seat. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to show you another thing that I'm going to be doing. What was the best new item you found in Vegas? That is oh, a great question. we got to talk about that. I don't even know how to yes. What's my favorite thing? There's some great stuff that's slowly filtering into the shop right now. I always get very excited about, you know, anything from Cody Foster. Yeah. Um, anything and everything. And Mom even let me pick some, like, things that were, like, she swore she wasn't going to let me do. But she did. So that'll be fun. And I think you're going to like them. I want to surprise them in some ways, you know. Yeah. Um, what did, what's like something really fresh, fun? We're going to have lot. a new, new lines of, actually, I know what mine is. We're going to have a new line of, we got, did we get the soaps? It's like a milk soap, a milk bath. And they are like, I've already tried a sample of one and it's so Good. We were really looking for, in addition to decor, we were looking for some of those types of items that we could bundle together um, as a gift. If somebody needed to pop in and just like, oh, I need a wedding. Oh, oh, I know. <gasps> Megan was the very first thing we got. Remember those big, fat, thick wood frames? And you, you oh. can, oh, and they have a canvas background. I forgot which, about those. They were so much which, in the beginning. You can have your own photograph or it your comes own with it. artwork. Yes. So you scan. You, there's you buy a QR the frame code. You and buy it comes the with a QR yep. code oh. and you put your oh. own image in it. They're really cool. They're so neat. And then they send you your image. Yep, on a canvas. The, on the canvas that fits in the back of this frame. So but the cool. frames are literally like beautiful. this thick. They're so chunky and natural wood. Oh, they're so cool. Yep. 
We're gonna really get some new cool. sugar boo stuff. That's we very do, yeah. cool. Some new sugar boo. Um, a lot, some new fresh little um, decor too. Yeah, but also just like fun kinds of things that we haven't really carried before. Like we've never really chosen really good bath products before. Yeah. So and, and that has been something I've I was hesitant to do. and I was hesitant about it, but yep. we found stuff that's so good but and we have a really cool idea for a display that jr is going to create we have some awesome new candles coming too what candles remember cowboy and cowgirl oh yes oh my gosh it's all it's like it feels like and it was that a dream. and that citrus yes the three the citrus, citrus trio yeah yeah so again it's just stuff that um you know we got to cherry pick i would say we did. Yes, we cherry picked. We got some cool stuff though. We and did. I, I think we'll keep. Like I forgot about those little notebooks we got. Into the, yeah, the I mean, I'm excited about um, the year ahead for L and J Goods um, in our shop, like our physical shop, um, because of not only um, you know continuing to give you a beautifully curated collection of vintage. Um, but you know some really lovely unique gift items too and Actually, you know those little canvas sling bags that we got all sold like in they sold out within 24 hours I think yeah, the butterfly. I think there might be like one left So we're gonna continue that collection and just bring some really fun curated collections of those little bags and cell phone bags and totes and and they it was just fun um, picking and choosing what we liked and what kind of fit our vibe right yes um, Cheryl Sharp is here she, Hi, said Cheryl. she enjoys watching and she said just to touch on kids I lost my son when he was 19 so love and cherish them in good times and even more in bad I'm gonna cry that's just a really good reminder Cheryl Oh, I'm Cheryl. sorry. But it is, like, so good to remember that when we're so irritated with our kids or fighting or not talking and yeah. that just, like, every day is not promised. It's true. In any relationships, right? And, yes, she is waxing the seed. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it on She camera. doesn't need to, but she is waxing it. She doesn't even know why. Just to answer the other I do want to. I just want to show you one other thing. Wow, what a what a life this is. <laughs> we have these from time to time, and they often happen in the basement. One of the I have a little spot right here. Yeah, and I don't know if you can see this. I got paint on this seat right here when I was painting. Can you see that, you guys? I can't. So what are you gonna do? If you can just slightly tip the. Oh, Megan's getting a paper Sorry. towel. Sorry, a paper towel is probably just covered in dust. Tip the that I'm putting the whole thing forward, like the, the whole tripod forward. But I want you to see this, where I got a little paint on my seat. Do you see that? So. Oh, I see, like in the crevice. Yeah. So that bothers me, um, especially since this is going to somebody else. So what I'm going to do is I have more Sorry. of this paper. Remember, I took some of the excess off and I saved it so I'm going to actually just kind of put a little patch over that and seal that right into place and um or the other thing I could do is I could take some dark wax and kind of blend that in so I might do that too I don't know or touch up yeah touch up paint with the paper color yeah you could but then I'm afraid it would look too touch uppy okay you know what I mean? And yes, Melissa, I'll always be your daughter in love. How about that? Yes. Okay. Yes, Sandy. Thank you, Cheryl, for that reminder. Yes. Mm -hmm. That chair is looking good. It's looking great. And you guys, I got to tell you, it's that little bit of wax on there made such a difference. And um, I'm telling you, I can. I can bounce up and down on this chair, and it is just <laughs> fine. Well, we it is not. Leave. I don't think you want to be too crazy. No, it's not crackling. It's not. It's really not. It's it's really held up nicely. I'm impressed. Yeah. So we did it, you guys. And we most importantly, did lined it. up that line down the middle. Yeah. 
Look at that. Severe weather alert. High wind warning. Yes. Effects. Well, your brother texted us. I know. He was very concerned. Very concerned. About That's how we'll end this. I'm going to read this little excerpt from a... Just so you know, I'm not the craziest person, probably, in this family. <laughs> Hold on. Please what was don't. it? What group? No, I'm not going to go too far back. Don't worry about it. Well, I don't want you to read a swear word. No, no, I would never. But I do, it makes me laugh when Dad says a swear word, or when Ben says a swear word too, Mom. Because she gets so... I do. It's, I would be the same way. If one of my sons said a swear word to me, exactly. I would not like that. What message, what group was this in? It was, it was like Ben and Rebecca. We have so many group messages. We're just waiting for... Ben, Rebecca, for, you and I. Okay, so Ben got a weather alert. It actually was a gale watch, which <laughs> I've so never fun. seen. He said, Mom, are you okay? And Mom said, we won't be taking... We won't be taking our small craft out to sea. And Ben said, what about the ship of the line? The frigate. How do you say that word? The frigate. The frigate. And Mom said, aye, it's best we pull her in for a spell. Ben and I have a saying where we, we, love, to, um, we love to make up uh, old sailors' sayings. Like, you know, it. red sun in the morning, tailors, sailors take warning. Oh, we have gone we on have gone for days. Wow. Days. Yeah, like like when the gulls be a screeching, blah 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 blah. We we, oh. we come up with a lot of them. It's we I remember one them. day we were just floating out in the tubes in the water, just coming up with different ones. Yes, yeah, so, very yeah, fun. It was fun. Stephanie said it looks great. My hubby was even impressed. He was amazed you could paint a chair like that. You sure can, hubby. Yes, you can. And Patty says, "Are you done, Mom? I'm done." Okay. Patty says, "What a loving and beautiful community." I'm going to keep crying today. You two have created here. Full of laughs, warmth, and can be very profound. Love it here. And Thank isn't you. that how family should be? And Thank you. are family to us here. We love you guys. You make us feel very comfortable to be ourselves and share with you. And I just, like, don't even remember what life was like before we had all of you. So... Anyway, great anyway, chair, great community. I wish we could all be lucky. together for Valentine's Day. I know, but I we really do. Well, not Valentine's Day, it's a Tuesday, but the day Well, after I'm going to tell you together. what, we are going to be together on Valentine's Day because we got a new IOD release coming on February 14th, and I want to be able to share with it, share it and show you, and it will be on our site and ready for you guys to buy. Yes, on, on Valentine's Day, but but I would love to go live and show you some of the um, pieces that we put together or that I did for like this one right here that's all covered up with cloth. This is an IOD new release piece that I did for them. It's going to be a video. Um, they got a few things that that I have done for them, and I'll be happy and excited to be able to share them with you. So. Deborah says, I can't wait to hug you ladies. May cometh quick. It sure does. And I'm so excited. And I wish, I hope that like eventually we meet each and every one of you one way or another yeah. in person. So as this song was sung at my dad's funeral. Don't. I've got to go. I'm out of here. We'll meet again. <laughs> Bye. I love Don't you Don't know guys. how. Don't know when. I've got... But I, I know memory. we'll meet again some sunny Imagine day. If, if I'm late, <laughs> Bye, you guys. What happens in the basement stays in the basement. That is right, Mary. Okay, bye, you guys. We'll see you on Friday upstairs.